It was bin day yesterday, so I thought I'd do a comic with a strong environmentalist message. So I picked this one, Dairy Devil. Uh, there he is there on the cover. By day, he is a blind lawyer. By night, blind superhero. And here he is, fighting a robot. And you'd pick this up and you'd go, oh, this is going to be a fun comic for the kids. Because it's got a superhero fighting a robot. Well, think again, because this... This fight only happens on one page of the entire thing. Special guest, Wolfman from the Excellent Men. He's hardly in it, he's only in it for a page as well. Uh, the, as I said, this this comic has a, has a green message. It is about pollution, about how we shouldn't pollute the rivers, uh, stuff like that. And I think that's quite commendable, really, that they've taken the time to make a comic that is just a public service announcement about environmental causes. Since it is a medium that requires thousands and thousands of trees to be cut down in order to get that message across. Uh, unfortunately, the rather important message about uh, the environment is completely undercut by another discovery I have made. Dairy Devil, the man without fear, more like the man without convictions, because I have got reason to believe that Dairy Devil is nothing more than a sexual predator. He preys on young children and he is disgusting. Now, I know what you're thinking. That is a huge accusation to throw at a blind lawyer. But I think there is enough evidence within this comic to justify those, those statements. And also make it so that Dairy Devil does not look out of place walking into a kitchen and being greeted by Chris Hansen from NBC. I mean, straight away we open with Exhibit A. What is Dairy Devil doing? Is he fighting burglars? Is he battling supervillains? Is he doing superhero stuff? No, the superhero is he's playing with young children. Oh. He is having a race with them around town. Uh, and then he beats them in the race. And he, he's so happy that he beats them that he goes off smiling. Straight away goes home and starts necking on with his bird. I mean... It's it's all it gets worse from there. Next, he goes to this uh, rundown apartment building where the landlord is overcharging the tenants rent. And Dairy Devil shows up. Is he outraged about the landlord being indecent? Is he outraged that the landlord is exploiting his uh, his tenants? No. The first thing Dairy Devil says is he turns to the tenant and goes, uh, "Do you have any children?" Fucking nonce. Then we have this, the third consecutive scene in a row. With Dairy Devil, the superhero, being uh, preying on young children. He goes for a walk in a park. He's just walking along. He sees this little boy playing with a toy boat in the river. And does he keep on walking? Does he fuck? He bends over and starts having a conversation with the boy. And I must say, this boy's parents are awful. Because they clearly have never told him, don't talk to strangers. What happens is, the toy boat starts to capsize. And the superhero suggests that the young boy gets in the water to pick it out and look at his face you could just see he's he was thinking to himself oh i wish the young boy did it skinny dipping instead and the boy is swimming in the river and what happens is this is where the environmental message comes in the river is polluted and it gets in his eyes and he's blinded and look how fast the superhero rushes to jump into the water and grab hold of the little boy and carry him in carry him in his arms oh, what a fucking scumbag then this is the only scene where dairy devil isn't doing something predatory he goes to the factory that was polluting the river and he's angry about it he's smashing things and then we have the robot from the cover show up and the fight for a page then we start then we actually start the real story here with this character he is called bushwhacker bob and he has got two powers. His first power is that his hand can turn into a gun. <laughs> where, where did they get the crazy ideas from? And his other power is that he has a rat tail. What he does is he gans around. He's an assassin. He gans around and he kills people with his gun hand. Bang, bang, bang. Ah, I'm being shot. Bang, bang, bang. I'm dying. Bang, bang, bang. I'm dead. Stuff like that. And then he goes home. And he beats up his wife.
because this comic is just full of scum. And then we have this page. Wolfman from the Excellent Men shows up at the girl that Bushwhacker Bob killed. And he's all like, that does it. I'm going to bring Bushwhacker Bob to justice. And I think this whole bit would be better if he said, I'm going to bring that Dairy Devil to justice. Because at this point, I think that Dairy Devil is a bigger criminal than Bushwhacker Bob. And then we finish with, oh God, Dairy Devil, right? His day job, right? At the minute, he is running a clinic for like people to drop in and ask for help. I mean, hiding in plain sight. For, all right, and look, you can see there, uh, it's it's full, full of people. It's like jam packed. Like loads of people want his help, but who does he go to? Who's the only person he goes to? The woman who has brought a child with her. <sighs> Scum of the earth. And look, after meeting a child, he straight away has to go and hug his missus again. Vile. And then we finish with this. Bushwhacker Bob's wife shows up and she's all like, uh, me, me husband, Bushwhacker Bob, right, he beats us up and stuff, but that doesn't matter. Well, the real problem is, I think that he's going to get himself killed. Can you help us? And Dairy Devil, he goes, yes, I'll help you. But if you can look at his face, he is clearly thinking, God, they better have children or this is going to be a waste of my time. Just horrible, horrible shit. Uh... But we we do end with this here. I really like this because this is a nice little message. It's sort of like a palate cleanser to get to like calm you down from all the rage you're feeling towards the the horrible paedophile, right? Meatloaf, humongous rock star of the universe in Heroes Helping Heroes, and there we have got Meatloaf, real near Michael Paul Adair, I think, and he is just doing one of his rock concerts. He's probably singing "Bat Out of Hell." And he says, oh, he's thinking, oh, Special Olympians are the real heroes. I'm going to give them everything I've got. But who's going to help me? And then all the Marvel superheroes show up to help. And it's just really nice. I think it's nice that all the hero, superheroes have taken time out of the day to not fight supervillains or battle crime. They just come to support disadvantaged children competing in the Special Olympics and I, I think it's really sweet uh, and I'll tell you what I am fucking glad that Dairy Devil is nowhere to be seen on this picture because that would have completely ruined it this comic is repugnant it is it is like it is like just a story of a predator it's ugh, why would I want to read about that I rate it seven thumbs up.